Um, Minister, as a neutral country, I don't believe our Defence Forces personnel should have ever had any involvement with the occupation forces if, uh, in Afghanistan. But nonetheless, given the ending of the IESAF mission there before Christmas, I think it is regrettable that you didn't choose this opportunity to withdraw uh, the seven uh, Defence Forces personnel, but instead chose to have them remain there as part of Resolute Support Mission. Uh, so I wonder if you could uh, comment on that. Uh, are you going to provide an opportunity for the House to discuss it? And what's your analysis of the success or otherwise of Defence Forces personnel involvement in the area? Thank you. Minister? Um, thanks for the question. Um, first of all, the deployment of uh, Defence Force personnel to the UN-mandated NATO-led um, International Security Assistance Force, or ISAF as it's called, mission in Afghanistan between 2002 and 2014. Uh, had no implications uh, for Ireland's traditional policy of military neutrality. Um, the service of the Defence uh, Forces with ISAF represented a further example of Ireland's commitment to participation in UN-mandated peace operations, a long-standing and key uh, foreign policy principle for Ireland. The work carried out by Irish personnel deployed with ISAF represented a, a relatively small but important contribution uh, to that mission. Uh, on the 9th of December, Last, uh, the government approved the participation of seven members of the Defence Forces uh, with the follow-on Resolute Support Mission, uh, or RSM as it's called, in Afghanistan, which commenced on the 1st of January. Uh, RSM is a non-combat training mission designed to support and develop the capacity of the Afghan National Defence Forces so that they can ensure the security of the Afghan population uh, and its national government institutions following the, with, the, with, the withdrawal of the ISAF mission. The deployment of uh, members of the Defence Forces in a training role is consistent with the provisions of Section 31B and 31D of the Defence Force Amendment Act 2006. Uh, the United Nations Security Council has welcomed the establishment of the Resolute Support Mission and has also welcomed uh, Ireland's willingness to be part of it. We are one of many, many countries that are part of this mission. This is Ireland contributing, along with, with, with partners, uh, to, uh, to do everything we can to ensure that a new government in, in Afghanistan can uh, try to create some stability and normality in a country that has been torn apart by war for many, many years. Thank you. Uh, uh, and I am I, I'm happy that we're trying to play a constructive training role in that effort. About Deputy Clare, did uh, Not good enough, I'm afraid. First of all, the United Nations so, supposed cover for the operation masked the fact that, in fact, this was a NATO-led uh, exercise. The UN Security Council resolution uh, justifying the decision, but the United Nations itself broke its own rules by approving the um, uh, occupation by and the US-led coalition's activity. Minister, you have said that you want to build uh, and have our troops to be part of a rebuilding of Afghanistan. Well, let's look at what's happened in that country. Supposedly, the intervention was to overthrow Al-Qaeda and the Taliban, now stronger than ever. In fact, many of them defecting to uh, ISIS. Subsequent to that, we were told it was to eradicate poppy growing, even ridiculously to deliver women's rights when we've had the most bumper uh, crop of poppy growing and women's rights are further back than they were in the 1980s and over a hundred billion dollars has been spent in that area and it is one of the most poorest backward corrupt ridden uh, dangerous places to live so it's not really much of a success mission in actual fact that we're part of and would you not agree that it's been well documented and established now that hundreds of prisoners were imprisoned under very extreme conditions by US led forces in Afghanistan at the same time as our troops were present in Kabul. Many of those prisoners were tortured. Some of them died as a result of that torture. And does that not make us complicit in that activity? Thank and you, would it not be the case that now that you're leaving them there, when many foreign troops have withdrawn, that in actual fact you're making them much more vulnerable uh, to attack and insecure in the positions that they are in now? Thank you, Minister. Yeah, um, Deputy, uh, to, to be honest, I mean, if if you were to follow through on the logic that you've just outlined, the international community would simply pull out of Afghanistan in its entirety. Um, and in my view, if that were to happen, uh, that country would implode. 
um, and would be taken over once again by um, uh, by tribal leaders, uh, some of them fundamentalist in their thinking, um, uh, and uh, that is not what um, uh, the international community would like to see happen. Uh, and so we are doing what we can uh, in a new environment in Afghanistan to try and support uh, the maintenance of stability and the building of some kind of normalization uh, in a country that hasn't seen that for many, many years. And if you look at our partners that are there, there are many other neutral countries. Um, Austria will be there. Sweden will be there. If you look at some of the other European partners, Finland, Germany, Italy, Montenegro, and then you look at New Zealand, Australia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, uh, the Republic of Macedonia. Thank you, Minister. Um, so there are, this is, a, this is a collective effort. There are about 12,000 personnel uh, that are staying in the follow-on mission to ISAF, which, by the way, had many, many more than that. Uh, and uh, I think that Ireland's role in it and what we bring to those efforts from a training uh, uh, and um, a knowledge perspective um, will, be, will be a positive contribution to what is essentially a peace and stability mission. Now. Thank you, Minister. Deputy Claire Daly. In actual fact, I would say it's a, a war mission, um, Minister. The idea that you would say the country hasn't seen normalisation for decades, that's true. The roots of that uh, lie in the interference and the overthrow of the government in the 1980s and the US inciting and encouraging uh, jihadist forces even at that time. The idea that you would say that by pulling out, Afghanistan might implode. Afghanistan has imploded, Minister. Tribal leaders that you say uh, would emerge to the top have arisen and are doing very well and very nicely out of the present conflict. It's the ordinary people who are suffering without any protection whatsoever by the Western forces. In actual fact, it's the very fact of the presence of the Western forces which has given an encouragement to those uh, tribal gangs in the first place and actually I do think it would be better if we pulled out the fact that other countries are present there doesn't give any cover or legit legitimacy to our concerns there. We're supposed to be a neutral country in our own right uh, dictated by peacekeeping missions. Everybody knows the only reason interference occurred in this country in the first place was nothing to do about democracy Thank or furthering the interests of people but was a resource issue to do with the very rich and lucrative gas and petroleum supplies that lie in the Caspian Sea. Final reply, Minister. Sorry, I think that's a revision of history, Deputy, with respect. The reason, the reason why there, were, there was um, a, a, a military uh, campaign in Afghanistan was because terrorists were being trained there. Um, uh, 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 and that is, what, that, is what, that is what triggered a whole series of events since then. Uh, and I think uh, we all have an obligation uh, rather than just uh, to look for ways of pointing out mistakes, uh, to actually try to contribute in a constructive and positive way to helping countries that are uh, in real difficulty uh, to try to, uh, uh, to create for, for, for their populations through stable government um, some level of normalization. Uh, and that is why I have sanctioned Ireland's participation in this follow-on mission because I believe we can, make, we can play a part there. We have a lot of experience in post-conflict peacekeeping missions. Uh, and we have seven personnel, which is not a huge contribution, but I think it is one um, uh, uh, that is worth maintaining. Uh, uh, and you know, as long as I can see a positive role for an international community in, in a state that is trying to re-establish itself effectively, uh, well, then we will maintain a presence there. Thank you.